All right, these are instructions on how to do the component box. I'm not going to dimension anything, but you need to dimension appropriately for what would be a, just a desk or a box drawer with a lid in order to get full credit. I'm just going to draw things to save time. So I'm just going to make a rectangle. Oh, about like that. Not, I don't care what the dimensions are for me. You have to dimension this. Okay, then I'm going to extrude. And let's see, I want to extrude it. Uh, let's go backwards about uh, something to make it look right. Let's see. Oh, that's too big. Okay. See, mine is way too small to get full credit. I'm going to make it four. Okay, so I've got this box. And now I need to uh, cut out the top and the bottom. So I'm going to cut out the front here. I'm going to, you can either draw another rectangle. I'm going to use offset and just click on this and make this a little smaller. Again, I'm not going to dimension anything here. So I'm just going to finish my sketch. You would need to dimension this distance here so that you make it a reasonable amount. I'm going to uh, cut this right there. I don't want to go the whole way, so I'm going to say 3.8. How does that look? That looks, uh, that looks pretty reasonable. And so I'll say OK, and I've cut that out. I create a sketch on the top. I do, I'm going to use another offset. You can do whichever way you want. And I'm going to do it about there. Finish my sketch. This part, this stuff you should be able to do without me having to explain a whole lot. This only needs to go just a little bit because I just need to cut through. So point three, some little bit just to cut through the top there. Um, oh, actually, let me back that out. And I'm going to make it the, uh, what I'll do is if I back this out, I'm going to project geometry and project that edge right there so that now when I make my offset, I can make them the exact same size so that when I cut it, watch what happens. If I'd cut it the other way, there would have been a little edge there. And you can do it, it doesn't, I won't, probably won't take off, but this way, when I do this and I cut, now you'll notice that when I say, okay, this is smooth. If you don't do it that way, you'll see the back here has a little bit of an edge. That's what will happen if you don't do it. I didn't do it to the back. I only did it to the side. But this will work. Okay, so I'm going to save this as, let me just save it to my desktop so I can find it. And I'm going to call that box. You'll save it to your folder. And I'm going to save it there just so that I've got it. Now, what I then need to do is... I need to do a new assembly, standard IAM. So I'm going to do a standard IAM, is what I've got here, an assembly. And then I'm going to place, and this way, see, I know where it is. It's on my desktop. I'm going to place my box here. So I've got my box. Right click, done, because I only need the one box. Now I'm ready to use the component and to do that I click on create now yours may have a different looking box but it's create create component I click on that I'm going to call it drawer and I'm going to tell it I want to save it to the desktop so I can find it again uh, so I'm going to put, save it to the desktop standard IPT give it a name that you can remember and I click OK. And then I have to click on the surface I want to make it on. Now I'm making a drawer, so that's going to be the front. So I click on the front. Creates a sketch plane on the front of my box. Now, what I want to do, this is where you use a lot of project geometry. I'm going to click this right there, and that brings me those lines. Now, once I've got those lines there, I can finish my sketch, and I can extrude. I'm going to extrude this inside thing, go back that way. Let's see if I can go and click on this back surface. I can. So I want a drawer that goes all the way back to the back there. Okay. And so I click OK. I've got this. Now, I need to make it a drawer. So that means I need to sketch on the top of it. 
And again, I'm going to use my offset just to bring this in here to make me an opening. And I'm just going to eyeball it, finish my sketch. Now I'm going to extrude, cut the center part down. Let's see if that went the right distance. Well, it's got a little bit left there. I'm going to make it uh, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, just so that's a little better. And I click OK. And you can see I've got this drawer here. Now, I want to put a face on this drawer, you know, like you would have. So it's, it, it, it's got something on the front. So I'm going to sketch on the front right here. I'm going to project this here. And now I'm going to finish my sketch. And I'm going to extrude both of these parts by just a very little bit. Like, I don't know what I need for mine. Okay, that'll work. So I'm going to make it like that. That now is got a drawer face to it. I'm going to make it pretty by doing a little uh, fillet around all four edges. And these are the kinds of things, if you want an A, you want 100 on this thing, you need to do these kinds of deals. See how much nicer that looks? I close that. I need to put a handle on it. I talk a lot about handles that you have to do that to do a grade. Okay. I make a sketch here. I put this here. Um, I'm going to do a simple one. Well, I'll do a, a circle one here on the front and show you what I mean. And I'll do another one on the top. So I extrude this a little bit. Whatever that is is fine. I sketch on it again. I make a bigger circle. Going through fast, but you've got this on video, so you can do whatever you want. You can watch as many times as you need. Finish sketch. Extrude. I'm going to click both of those to fill that out and say OK. So here's a little handle. Again, want to make it nicer? Watch what happens when I do this. I do this here. I do this here. And I click OK. And now look at that. Very nice handle. OK. That part is now done. Once you're done with your part, I right click. I click Finish Edit. It now made a part there. Now that part is locked in because of these uh, constraints, which I can uh, delete that one and delete that one. And now I've got a drawer that moves back and forth. You see how that is? Sweet. And uh, so now I've got that there. I need to do a second one. So I'm going to create. I'm going to call this lid. And I want to save that again where I can find it. So I'm going to put it where I want it. And standard IPT, normally everything, yeah. I would want to give it a name, standard IPT, click OK. Now I want to put this on the top. So again, I am going to project geometry and just click on that. This allows me to use these lines. This way I know it's a perfect fit. I don't have to dimension my other parts. This is just really, really useful for a lot of different things. So I click on that. I'm going to go like 0.2 in the opposite direction. This is going to be my inset. So like when you set a lid in, it doesn't hit my, doesn't hit my box. Almost does. In fact, because it almost does, I'm going to do 0.15. So there's a little bit of a gap between them. So they don't touch. And I click OK. OK. So now that's going down. Now I need to do the same thing. I sketch on the top, project geometry, the whole thing. So I've got all those lines. Finish my sketch and extrude both of those. That's a decent distance. I say OK. Going quickly here. Fill it. Fillets always make things look nice. Fill it there, there, and there. Click OK. And one more handle, another kind of handle. So you can do one of each of these. Click on the top so I'm looking at it. Let me rotate it over. Am I doing for time? OK. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle here. Now you can make this stuff centered by using things like this command here. See if this works right. That one with... Nope. OK, so that was the wrong one. So I back up and I use this one. Now, see if I click on that green dot there and the green dot right there, it balances it. And then if I click this one, I can go to this green dot and I can go to this green dot. Oh, 
That wasn't it. Oh, it's because there's no dimensions on it. Okay, well, we'll just leave it like that then. If I put a dimension on this, all right, I'll show you. Uh, dimension. Now, if I do this one, it should keep me there. If I do that, now it's centered. So now it's centered on my lid. I'm going to uh, finish my sketch. Let's angle a little bit so I can see it. I'm going to extrude this. And I'm extrude that a little more. Point four five. Okay. I extrude that there. So I've got this thing. Doesn't look much like a handle, does it? No, it doesn't. But it will when I get done. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to fill it all around the edges here. Another way of doing this is a sweep. And I don't think I'm going to show that to you right now at this point. Let's see if this works. I may have been doing too many fillets. Oh, let's hope it didn't. Wait. Okay. Okay, too many. Not a problem. I will do... See if I can do these. Just these ones here. Nope, they're too big. Um, point, oh, six, two, five. My other favorite dimension there. And it let me do those. And now uh, let me also add these ones on the top. Oh, wow, I wonder what this is going to do. Oh, I did it. Look how nice that is. Okay, cancel that. Now what I want to do is I need to create a sketch on the side of this. I want to look at it this way. Almost done. Now I need to do a cutout here. So I'm going to do, actually I'm going to use a rectangle because I want to go all the way down to the bottom here. You would want to dimension this. I'm going to eyeball it because I'm running low on time especially. Finish my sketch, extrude, cut, cut this out, all the way please, and I've got this. Now, that's going to hurt my hand if I try to pull that lid up. So, I'm going to do my little fillets one more time. Maybe it's already done. And what you'll see then is you got something pretty reasonable looking handle there. Okay, now I'm almost done. Right click, finish edit. And again, if I delete that one and delete that one, you'll notice this pulls up. And so what I've got is here is. In fact, if you save it like this, you can use this explosion like this as your parts list. Now, you will want to color these, okay? I want you to, you know, you want to make this look nice. So this thing here, I'm not sure. Uh, you may need to open them up. These are now, once I save this, once I save it one more time, because I haven't saved this yet. I haven't saved the assembly. I've only saved all those other parts. So if I go back to my desktop and I call this... Uh, box done and I save it say so yes to all it just created all those parts so then now if you look on my desktop I've got the lid the drawer the box and the box done so those are all done and now I can open them up individually I can open them one at a time and then individually color the different things assuming my inventor comes back up if it doesn't do it that way, I can do it this way. I think maybe it won't. It's going to try. It's going to mess me up here in just a second. It's going to try to open up another one. Nice. Okay. Uh, but uh, so if I find something here, if I just open up just my lid, then I can set this stuff. I can, you know, uh, make just this uh, some other material. Okay. I am almost out of time, so I'm going to get it done here. But that's how you do it. That's how you get the whole thing done. Box done. Look at that baby. Uh, you can, and so that's what you're going to do for this project. And I am done.